went their own way and made loving fun. You can go your own way. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Fleetwood Mac songs. For this list, we've chosen our entries based on a combination of the artist's fan favorites and their most commercially successful songs. Number 10, Big Love. So still. Originally written for an aborted solo album, this Lindsey Buckingham pen song is built around the guitarist's trademark finger picking, a style which set him apart from his predecessors in the group. Looking out for love. Big Love is also noted for its love grunts, both sets of which are performed by Buckingham himself. <sighs> Despite being a top five hit in the United States, Fleetwood Mac didn't perform the song live until 1997, as Buckingham had quit the band shortly before their 1987 tour. Since then, the pop rock number has become a live standard and a crowd favorite. Number nine, Tusk. Following the massive success of Rumors, The Mac, and Lindsey Buckingham especially, were eager to cover new ground. Don't say that you love me. With that in mind, he did the logical thing and hired a marching band to guest on the title track of their 12th LP. With the 300-strong Trojan marching band, Tusk holds the all-time record for the most musicians ever to appear on a single. Weird and downright spooky, the prog rock tune proved the group could be successful without repeating themselves. Number 8. Everywhere. Can you hear me calling out your name? You know that I'm falling and I don't know what to say. Although its parent album began as a Lindsay Buckingham solo project, Christine McVie certainly carried her weight in the songwriting department. Decidedly more pop than previous Mac hits, this Tango in the Night single nonetheless hit number one on the U.S. Adult Contemporary Chart. The tune was also a top 20 hit on the Billboard Hot 100 and was one of the last singles to feature the classic Rumors era lineup. Number 7, Little Lies. Written by Christine McVie, this keyboard's heavy soft rock number hit number four on the Billboard Hot 100 and is also, to date, the band's last American Top 10 hit. However, since Buckingham quit the band shortly before they were set to tour on the new album, Billy Burnett would fill in during live performances, while Rick Vito would pick up the slack in the guitar department. Oh, no, no, you can't Six, don't stop. If you wake up, don't if it takes just a while. Not many bands regroup under presidential order. A number three hit in 1977, the Christine McVie penned pop rocker took on a new life in 1992 when it was used as a campaign song by eventual U.S. President Bill Clinton. Don't 
after, spoiler alert, winning the election, Clinton requested the classic 70s lineup to perform at his inauguration. The Reformation didn't immediately stick, but it did eventually lead to a full reunion tour and live album. Number 5. Landslide I took my love and I took it down prior to her joining the group when she was thinking about giving up on music. This introspective acoustic guitar-driven ballad introduced the world to Stevie Nicks and a whole new Fleetwood Mac. Well, I've been afraid of changing cause I built my life around you. Although not released as a single, Landslide is a concert staple, and a later live version hit the top 60 of the Billboard Hot 100 over two decades following its appearance on the band's self-titled 10th record. If you see my reflection in the snow-covered hills, where the landslide will bring you down. The folk rock tune has been covered numerous times, including versions from Smashing Pumpkins and the Dixie Chicks, with the latter actually outperforming Mac on the charts. Cover heels. Number four, Rhiannon. While Stevie Nicks may have only been drafted into the group as a package deal with Lindsay Buckingham, she didn't take long to prove herself a valuable asset. Aside from her distinct vocals, Nicks also offered well-crafted pop songs that were miles from the band's blues roots. Based in part on Welsh mythology and a goddess of the same name, Rhiannon was written by Nix three months prior to her joining Fleetwood Mac. It soon became one of the outfit's signature songs, topping out at number 11 on the American charts in 1976. Dreams. It's an understatement to say rumors was not a good time for Fleetwood Mac. The marriage of John and Christine McVie was ending, as was the coupling of Lindsay Buckingham and Stevie Nicks. When the rain washes, you clean, you not to be outdone. Mick Fleetwood was also going through a divorce outside of the band. Restrained and understated, this simplistic and hypnotic three-chord vamp from Nix was written in a mere 10 minutes, but tapped deeply into the band's turmoil and internal animosity. The result was the band's only million-selling American number one smash. Number two, the chain. Credited to all the members of the group, this tune is as much a collage as it is a song. Constructed from unfinished scraps and unused bits, this moody epic nonetheless links up like, well, a chain. Featuring an intro written by Lindsay Buckingham, the single was fleshed out by lyrics from Stevie Nicks and music from Christine McVie. Its dark and eerie bass-heavy ending, however, was supplied by the eponymous rhythm section of Mick Fleetwood and John McVie. That's just five kinds of awesome. Before 
we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I can't help about the shape I'm in. I can't sing, I ain't pretty, and my legs are thin. But don't ask me what I think of you. I might not give the answer that you want me to. You'll never get away from the sound. Number one, go your own way. There are goodbye songs and there are go away songs. This is the latter. Written by singer guitarist Lindsey Buckingham, Go Your Own Way is a eulogy of sorts to his troubled relationship with Stevie Nicks. The directness of Buckingham's lyrics created a fair bit of tension between himself and Nicks, and performing it live on the following tour only dragged out the awkwardness. You can go your own way. While it may have gone down poorly with Stevie, the rumor single was a hit with the public and became Fleetwood Mac's first Billboard Hot 100 Top 10. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite Fleetwood Mac song? For more rockin' top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.